Chapter 8, Earthquakes. This chapter we're going to discuss earthquakes and the interior of the earth. Section 1 is over what is an earthquake. An earthquake is the vibration of earth produced by the rapid release of energy. Earthquakes are caused by slippage along a break in the lithosphere that we call faults. A fault is just a fracture in the earth where movement has occurred. Two terms that we use when we discuss earthquakes are focus and the epicenter. The focus is the point inside the earth where the earthquake is actually beginning. This can be anywhere from 1 to 2 kilometers down to 7 to 10 kilometers deep inside the earth. The epicenter is the location on the surface directly above the focus. So the epicenter would be like the point on the map that you could actually identify. We say it started in New Mexico. That's considered the epicenter. Here we can see the fault lines don't necessarily correlate with those epicenters or the focuses. It will pass through the focus, but you can see here how it, it curves with the earth. And it's actually the fault is over here and we see the surface is moved, that fault scarp, because of where it lies. The energy released by an earthquake travels in all directions out from the focus in the form of what we call seismic waves. The movement that occurs along faults during earthquakes is a major factor in changing Earth's surface. Here we can see an orchard in California. You can see some of that slippage along the fault line. And those arrows, this ground moved this way and that ground moved that way. So what used to be nice straight rows now is a zigzag. So what causes earthquakes? According to the elastic rebound hypothesis, most earthquakes are produced by the rapid release of energy that's stored up in rock because it's been subjected to some kind of great force. Now this could be because there's too much energy from pressure being built up inside of a magma chamber. It could be a lot of different things, the plates pushing up against each other. But when that releases, it's like a rubber band. When the strength of the rock is exceeded, it suddenly breaks releasing some of its stored energy as elastic energy. And that's what causes those vibrations that we call an earthquake. Here we can see the forces inside the earth slowly deforming the rock, making up the crust, and this causes the rock to bend. The elastic rebound is that tendency for the deformed rock along the fault lines to spring back after an earthquake. The causes of aftershocks and foreshocks they are just the, the precursors and the after effects of a major earthquake. The aftershock is just a small earthquake that follows the main one. And the foreshock is the only real precursor that we have to know that an earthquake is coming. It's not like when we see a tornado, usually we can follow those weather, pa weather patterns on the maps and we know they're coming. An earthquake, there's not a lot of warning 